Batwoman has returned for another new episode of Season 2 after a two or three weekish break here in between new episodes. And we are almost done. Season 2 ends on June 27th, so there's just two more episodes, no, three more episodes left of the season. And yeah, that that's kind of crazy that we're already almost there but uh yeah so i'm excited things are really starting to heat up here and things are about to go down um and this was a great episode to return on um entering into this final section of episodes in the season and again it it was just a great episode especially after we left off with that huge cliffhanger a couple weeks ago of luke fox getting shot i didn't do a video on it because i didn't have time but yeah luke got shot uh if you didn't see oh also spoiler if you haven't seen the episode yet but uh yeah so this episode actually starts off with a kind of like dramatic replay of that scene of luke trying to save the day trying to stop that elliot guy from uh stealing the car and then agent tavarov and the crow show up and of course luke kind of act a little stupid here reaches in his phone because he's like oh i'm gonna pull out i mean reaches in his pocket to pull out his phone he's like oh i have photographic evidence but of course he reaches in his phone and tavrov is like gun and then shoots him like two or three times like bruh like once was enough i mean he didn't even need to do once and man i mean luke is a good guy there's nothing that you ever would have thought that would make him pull out a gun or anything and he literally said he was pulling his phone out, but of course Tavarov, the racist jerk that he is, shot him just because oh he assumes that oh he's black, so it, he's pulling out a gun. That man, I hate that guy. Uh, but luckily we get to see him get beat up multiple times this episode, so I did really enjoy seeing that. But um, after the scene, uh, Jacob and the crows actually interrogate interrogate. Tavarov to find out his side of the story and what happened in this situation of course he makes stuff up and lies and says like oh Luke actually pulled out a gun on me and it's like nah he didn't no he did not uh but now a bunch of protests are starting up here because another black man has been killed by the crows and this is apparently a, a big thing that's been going on in Gotham obviously to reflect the real life events here uh, with Black Lives Matter and George Floyd and that whole thing. Uh, they did something very similar on Black Lightning Season 4 as well. But um, So they're doing it here as well. And Batwoman actually goes after Tavarov. And he literally hits her with his car. Like one of his crow friends does. But she gets hit by a car. And she's just left there lying on the ground. It's not a huge injury. Uh, but definitely not a good thing. And then things get even worse and even more disturbing when the body cam footage is released from Luke getting shot, but it's been edited to, like, literally, it looks like Luke is actually using a gun in that scene. And not only just pulling out a gun, but specifically pulling out a gun that was just linked to a robbery, so then when he wakes up, he's not only going to get charged for assaulting an officer, but then also for an attempted robbery or something like that so yeah uh the tavarov is literally covering all the bases just trying to make sure that he goes free and he can frame luke and all this stuff and like oh it was his fault and everything and man this guy is so not good hate this man but anyway after this uh we got a plan our bat team has got a a plan together because uh mary her plan is that she's gonna go to luke and give him the desert rose because i mean he was shot like three times so things are not looking good for him uh with survival rates so she's like all right we got this desert rose let's give it to him and this will save his life but when she shows up the crows will not let her inside so then what she does is she calls in a little help from uh evan i i forgot his name but evan and he infiltrates the hospital room as Wolf Spider. So while Mary distracts the guards, he goes in there and actually gives Luke the Desert Rose and saves his life. So that is good. That's a great thing going on there. But then tragedy strikes as uh, Sophie is actually able to uh, 
convince Jacob to look more into Tavrov, and he actually sees that, like, uh, a couple episodes ago, when Sophie was commanding the crows and told him to use non-lethal use, and then he just started shooting up everybody, uh, he, he noticed that. So then when he confronts Tavrov about that, he knocks him out and, of course, kidnaps him. So then Batwoman has to go and save Jacob and also takes down Tavrov. And again, it was so good, so nice to see Tavrov get beat up like that. Very enjoyable to watch. Uh, but... After this, Jacob actually makes a huge decision and officially announces that he is disbanding the Crows. And the Crows are no longer going to be a thing, which I think is awesome because you've seen the things they've done in this city so far. The Crows are not good people. I mean, it's not all of them, but for the most part, having the Crows around is not a good thing for Gotham City. And I never really understood why the Crows were a thing in this show anyway. Like, why why create this new... A branch of police in Gotham City when you can literally just use the GCPD, I mean the Gotham City Police Department because it's such a famous thing when it comes to Batman stories. So I don't get why they didn't just use that from the first place, but hopefully that means that maybe we'll be seeing more of that now. And maybe Jacob can go on to get a position there, maybe even Sophie. So I, I'd really like to see that. And that could also lead to the possible introduction of a Commissioner Gordon on the show. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, but for as of now, uh, the Crows are officially done, which, again, I think is great. But l l let's check in with Luke a little bit here in this episode, because like I said, he is in a coma. He obviously just got shot multiple times. So now he is in a coma and he is up in his subconscious throughout this episode and he sees his father we don't actually see lucius fox he's kind of just over in the shadows uh so we don't have an official actor tied to the character yet um but he sees his father um lucius fox and then he finds out actually that um that bruce wayne actually shows up as well but he finds out from bruce that if he goes and talks to his father then he will officially die. That This is what ke is keeping him from in between the living and the dead, is if he stays there and is just basically doesn't walk by Bruce Wayne, then he is fine, and now this Desert Rose will bring him back to the land of the living. But if he goes over there and he talks to his father, then that's it. There's no going back, and he will die. But at the end of this episode, he actually makes the decision that if this is the kind of world that they're living in, he doesn't want to live in the kind of world that things like this happen where cops just shoot black guys just because they're black and they assume that they're bad. He doesn't want to live in a world like that and he wants to be with his father. So he makes that decision and he starts walking over to Lucius Fox, calls out to him, but then all of a sudden... He's too late, and he wakes up, which is honestly a good thing because we don't want to see Luke actually die. Uh, but at the same time, you you kind of understand what, what he's feeling there. Like, he just went through such a traumatic thing, and we see actually in the promo for next week's episode that he's he's going to be going through some changes, trying to adjust to life again, and he, he's going to be a little bit more rebellious and kind of be a bad boy and all this stuff. So I think that's kind of cool. But yeah, now he's woken up from his coma, and then our ending scene to the episode is with Alice actually confronting Jacob and not only revealing that Kate is alive, but that she wants his help to go find her and save her and bring her back to them and get Kate back to being Kate. So, uh, again, with so few episodes left of the season, it makes sense that they're really going to start to kick things off here and really get into this with bringing Kate back to being Kate. So I'm really excited for that. Um, uh, next week's episode looks like it's going to be a good one, especially because also Diggle is showing up. John Diggle from Arrow is going to be appearing in this because uh, we heard previously uh, that he's going to be appearing in one episode of each of the Arrowverse shows this year. So uh, definitely great that this is the first one that that's going to be happening on uh, with next week's episode. And it looks like he's going to be helping out Luke a little bit with uh, his post-recovery stuff. So, yeah, I'm excited to see that. And this was another great episode of Batwoman Season 2. 
But anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts on this episode down in the comments below. Are you excited for next week's episode? And thanks so much for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video. And hit the subscribe button so I can keep up to date on everything goes on in the DC life.